Hey, what's up guys, it's Larry B. Recently, I got a resin 3D printer, um, and part of that process of resin 3D printing is cleaning off the prints. Uh, I found videos on the subject, though I never really found any that I found to be really good examples of how to not only clean resin 3D prints, but not waste IPA. Uh, so what I wanna do is just make a fairly quick video just showing the process I use uh, to kind of minimize IPA waste and end up with a pretty clean print. So what I've got right here is 70%. Um, and the process I have is basically a three-part process. Um, I start with this spray bottle of IPA. That's just 70%. I spray off the resin print and that pretty much cleans like the majority of the resin off of it. After that, I move to a pre-wash, which is just some IPA in a little pickle jar. It can be in any type of container. After that, I move to my final wash, which for me right now is this Anycubic uh, wash and cure machine. Um, but anything will do. Before I got the Anycubic, I just had, you know, just had another, another jar I just used. So basically, should probably put on some gloves. We're gonna start off the process by simply spraying this with some of this 70% IPA. You want to be fairly generous as the point of this is to protect your other washes from the resin. So you might want to give that a couple minutes to sit. And I'm going to just let that sit for a moment. All right, so after you've let that sit for a moment, what you're gonna to wanna to do is then move to your kind of in-between wash. Um, and what this will do is basically further remove resin before you put it into your final wash. So let's do this real quick. I'm just gonna put that in there. And you're gonna to wanna to let it soak for maybe, you know, two to three minutes, four minutes, something like that in this wash. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes and then we'll come back. All right, so I've let that sit for a few moments, kind of swished it around a little bit more. Uh, so the next step of this process will be to take it out of this and move it to our final wash. Um, if you have supports on your print, I would probably suggest considering removing them even right after this wash or before this wash. The reason for this is you you won't be able to clean the model off quite as well if you leave those supports in. So let's let this thing drain. Okay, so for the final wash here, like I said, I'm going to move it to my any cubic, um, but it it doesn't really matter. The, before I had this, this was the same process. I just moved it to that another container. All right, man, and there you go. From here, I'll run it through uh, probably two cycles in this Anycubic. Uh, if your final wash was just another pickle jar, you know, do four, five, six minutes in your pickle jar, and uh, you should be good to go. After that, you basically just pull it out, um, place it to the side, let it dry out for, I'd say, at least a few hours, preferably overnight, and then you can go through your cure process. Um, you know, I hope this is helpful for someone because, you know, this whole cleaning process was something I, it was covered, but I, I didn't really see great examples of how to do it and not get, you know, your, your wash is just filthy along the way. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comments below. Uh, other than that, that's all I really have right now. So uh, thanks for watching. Good luck and uh, peace.